What is pointless? Telling a bald guy a hair-raising story. <laughs> and please, the joke's not intended to offend anybody. It's just a little laugh. I know what people can get like. <laughs> right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. As we know, a lot of people have bought fire sticks, and a lot of questions I am getting is, I am new to this. How do I go about setting a fire stick up? An Amazon device in general, they all run and look the same. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set it up ready for whatever you want to do. Mainly third-party apps and streaming, maybe, maybe. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so before this video starts, comment down below how long you've been a Fire Stick user. Have you used them ever since the first generation? Or have you only just started using them? Or don't you use them at all because I know a lot of people don't like them. So comment down below, that'll be interesting to see. Right, so I am on the 4K Fire Stick, but this is going to work the same for any Amazon device. So what we're going to do, we're going to just change a couple of settings and we're going to install some applications and then you're good to go. And you're just opening a whole shitload of apps what you can use. Right, so first of all, you want to go to settings at the top right hand corner, go down and all the way across to My Fire TV. And once you click on that, go to Developer Options and make sure that Apps from Unknown Sources is turned on. And also enable ADB debugging. So make sure both of those options are turned on. Right, so one thing as well, I have done a video on what settings you need to really turn off, stop Amazon seeing what you're doing and to make the Fire Stick run better. I'll put that video in the top right hand corner now and I'll also link it at the end of the video. So at the top left hand corner you're going to see the search icon and what you're going to do you're going to type in downloader or just type in DAO and then underneath you will see it say downloader. So once you click on that you're going to see it there, click on it, give it a couple of moments and then we're going to click download it. If this doesn't download and install 9 times out of 10 it's because you've not got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it's free to download and use, they do sometimes require that to be able to use a store. <laughs> I ran out of breath, I've still got man flu. Right so now you've got download and one more thing to bear in mind as well is do make sure if you are signed up to Amazon Prime, you also get Prime Video included. So if you go down and across to Prime Video, this is going to bring up loads of different content, and this is all free if you have got Amazon Prime. Some of it, though, it will say you have to rent a movie and things, but there's a lot of content in there and good stuff that you can use for free if you are an Amazon Prime member. Right, so now I always go to my applications by going to Settings, Applications... Manage installed applications, and then you're going to see it says downloader, which you've just downloaded. I do it this way because then it allows me to force stop the app, clear the data, clear the cache, and then if an app crashes, you can just click on force stop, and then when you open it again, it will be open fresh. But we're going to launch downloader, and one very important thing here is you have to allow permissions. If you don't allow permissions, it's not going to let you download anything. So we're going to click on allow, and then OK. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the left hand side and on settings, you're going to want to make sure JavaScript is enabled. So you can see that orange tick there, make sure that's ticked off and then we go back home and then now we're going to type in a URL, a website. Right, so the website you want to type in is letscrackon.org. If you need to pause the video while you type that in, do that now. But letscrackon.org and then we're going to click on go. And then it's going to load up the website, give it a couple of moments. And then once it's loaded up, you're going to see three lines there. So if, when we click on that, this is the menu. So now we're going to go to Downloads, and this is where you're going to find everything you're going to need for your device. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see you've got File Linked, APK Time, and Aptoid TV. These are all awesome places for third-party apps that you can't find in the Amazon Store, the Google Play Store, and things like that. Mainly used for streaming, but we don't know what licenses they have, or just make sure you check the policies from your region or where you're from. So first of all, we're going to download File Linked. So if I click on that, we'll scroll down to the Download button here. We'll click on that bad boy, give it a couple of moments and it's going to take us to this page and then once the countdown finishes, it will start downloading. Right, so as that's finished, you're going to see it sort of saying connecting and then it'll start downloading file links to your device. Very quick and then as you can see, we just go down and across to install 
We had a couple of moments for that. And once that's finished, we're going to click on done. Very important step is to delete the download file or the installation file. So click delete and delete again. If you do forget to do this, on the left hand side you're going to see it says files. And this is where all the downloads will go to. You'd no longer need them. Make sure you delete them to keep storage on your device to help it run better. And just so it doesn't have a shitload of useless stuff on it. Right, so that's it. You've now installed file linked onto your device. And one thing you can do is go to the top right hand corner of the hamburger menu, three line button, whatever you want to call it. If we click on that, you can add the current page to favourites, click on save. And now what happens is whenever you launch downloader, you don't have to keep typing in the URL. You simply go to favourites, it's there. You click on that and it directs you straight to that page. Makes it much simpler and much faster. So now if I go back into the applications, you're going to see there you have got file linked. So downloading like that from downloader will direct everything into your applications. And while we're on file linked at the moment, obviously when you open the app, it's going to ask you for a code, a pin code. So what we do, we click on the three line button on the website. Again, you can do this on your mobile phone or anything you want. And then you're going to see it says pin codes. And when you scroll down, you're going to see a list of pin codes for file links. So 56001333, you've got 8581914, all the twos and then a pin code next to it. So these are all codes for file links when you open it and then a, a massive app store will open up and it'll have a huge amount of apps that you can install for mainly streaming purposes. Right, so I've also downloaded Aptoid TV and then one more thing that you can download Mouse toggle for Fire TV and things like that are if you're going to be using apps that are designed for touchscreen devices, but we're not hoping to do that on here. You've got Puffin TV, which is a great alternative web browser, but media players, and then you've got your Kodi, so all different versions of Kodi. You've got MX Player, but lately I have found that VLC Play has been working really well. So I'm going to download that as well. And then how this works, it's an external media player. So when we launch an application, a streaming app, we go into the settings and we set VLC player as a default player. And then if you do find you're having problems launching a stream or there's no sound on it, linking it to VLC player or MX player has made it work for a hell of a lot of people. So it's always worth using an external player. Right then, so now if I go back into the applications, you're going to see I've got Aptoid TV, I've got File Linked, and I also downloaded VLC player. When we open file linked, obviously, like we said, on the pin code section on the website, this is where you're going to put the code that you find. So all the twos are 56001. I'll just put one in for you now. So 56001333. And then when we click on next and continue, it's going to open a huge app store. And then all you've got to do is click on the arrow on the right hand side. And that'll download it and then you install it. And then that's how you install a lot of apps that you can't find on the Google Play Store or Amazon Store. And this is where you're going to find most of your live TV apps and your movie apps. A great one that people have been using is Aptoid TV. And this is kind of like, it's laid out like a Google Store for Android. And when we launch it, we're just going to click OK. We're going to allow permissions so it can download things to the device and update them. And as you can see, it's a really nice layout. You've got T-Movie Guide. That looks like TTV. You've got YouTube, VLC players in here as well. Mobdro, FreeFlix, Tubi. So as you can see, there's a lot of apps in here. Redbox TV, a very popular live TV app. But then you can also go down, you've got categories, my apps, community. You've got all games and things you can get on here as well. So there's just loads of content on there for you to search through and download if you want. And then all you need to do if you want to install something from there, simply click on install. You're going to see it says downloading. Then it's going to come up with the regular install screen that we saw before. Click install. Once it's finished, that'll go into your applications the same again. So now we're in applications, we can scroll down, we can see one there and launch it. So it did need updating that time, but once you've updated it, you can go into settings like we said before, and then we're going to find out which player we can use. So as you can see, this is the setting you're going to be looking for inside of apps, and you choose a default player, but for some reason it's not allowing me to choose it inside this app, but TTV, in my opinion, not the best in the world. 
But I would say if you're downloading apps onto your device, stick to File Linked and APK Time. They both have a lot of ad free applications inside them, so you haven't got adverts popping up every two seconds. And it really is as simple as that. It's a case of just going on. Making sure you have some unknown sources is turned on, then getting downloader, then visiting let's crack on .org, and in my opinion, get file linked or APK time, and then you're good to go. And it's a case of you downloading whatever you want, and whichever app you like the best, that's the one you stick to and use. So I do hope this video has helped at least two of you because then it's worth doing. Don't forget to check out the settings video as well to stop Amazon kind of seeing what you're doing. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Sarah, what is pointless? Telling a bald guy that. I can't say it. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> or don't use a fire stick anyway. What am I saying? <laughs> right, so I'm on the 4K fire stick, but this is going to be the same for any fire stick device. Fire stick device. <laughs> so make sure both of those options, both of those. <laughs>